What is a video data graphic? And what can it do that a traditional infographic or visualization can't? So we've seen a few of these things emerge recently. They're, the context has been set by the rise of on-demand video, by the rise of broadband, and there's new formats have kind of come along, things like the conference videos online or the sort of um, how-to videos that kind of make up experts or you know, kind of home enthusiasts create mm -hmm. online. So there is precedent for these short-form videos away from the structure of TV network half-hour, one-hour slots that kind of are kind of short and informative. And the video data graphic um, uses as its main materials for storytelling, not necessarily talent, um, celebrity talent or um, or kind of um, fantasy, but actual kind of real, it's based in real data, it's based in real stuff. It tries to enliven subjects that are um, typically kind of um, have a lot of data about them. Now, does video increase development on an exponential scale? Is it infinitely harder than a static graphic, or can you take some of those lessons mm. from the static side and apply them? So, yeah, it, well, video will, video does a few things. Um, it holds attention very well. Um, in order to hold attention, it needs a story behind it. And I think there's a lot of discussion around in the sort of data circles from how you tell the story about stuff. I think lots of the lots of data um, sort of books, talks, things you hear are all about the finding the analysis, finding, you know, facts and everything like that. I think people kind of conflate that with finding a story necessarily. You know, you can find a fact by an X and a Y coordinate, you know, it's not necessarily a story I think. So the key skill then um, comes in as finding the story in that data, where you might want to choose to use analytics or data scientists, but ultimately at some point there needs to be a team assembled, and that's where it becomes, I'd say, more tricky than doing a traditional print graphic, or just a, an interactive which is kind of known now, you know. It's inter interesting, the New York Times has moved, not necessarily away from, but one of the most rewarding things they've done recently was a, um, a video graphic of the um, hit of the baseball um, pitcher Rivera. Um, and how he, just how he practices yeah. his art. Um, now, I think about two years ago, that would have probably been a kind of like rather large, interesting, you know, interactive done by NewYorkTimes.com where you'd probably be able to kind of go through all his stuff and, okay, quite interesting, but it's the language of analytics, the language of complicated sort of discovery is not necessarily for a mass audience. Hmm. So my particular work I do, and I think, I personally think more work that should happen in the analytics world is how you communicate to this mass audience. Ultimately, CEOs, um, people who don't really have time to get involved with those complexities of how data is typically told to people. And that's where the need for storytelling comes in. Hmm. So then I think that the, you then have the need for um, a team to do this, um, in the same way you have teamwork in certainly the interactive sphere. Um, so the team to do this is generally an executive producer, um, kind of design director, that's a role I tend to fulfill. Um, you then have a, a script writer, um, a, Animator, design, animator slash designer. It's not just an animator who gives life. It's, an, it's a designer who gives, helps give meaning also. That's sure. very important. Um, because lots of animation you'll see in short film festivals or Sundance or somewhere like that. It's quite cool, but it's basically a bunch of dancing, you know, it's a bunch of dancing angle poise lamps, you know, which is <laughs> it's quite good at the beginnings of technology, yeah, but actually yeah. when you're going to do something meaningful with it, um, you, need, you, need, you need people who can give not just form and function, but kind of help to give meaning. Mm -hmm. And you also need a sound designer. But the heart of that is the is the person, the executive producer, kind of pulling it together, you know. And that's what, and once you've found your story, your concept, the executive producer is the person then making sure everyone sticks to that, like a coach on a team, like a coach on a baseball team, shouts from the si sidelines about what to keep, what to keep, stick at. And so, it is harder. It um, generally, you know, three. They say that you know it's a week's animation for every minute of um, every minute of footage yeah. that you want. I mean, you know. It depends. I think you see a lot of them online now, which are obviously cheaper. They're done in Flash. They're okay. You know, I mean, none of this is bad work, but you know, is it all it can be? And I don't sure. think it all is because I don't think they're all using, um, taking advantage of the strengths of video medium, which is ultimately about depth and a quality and engagement, which is a little more expensive. But then these things, if they live online, like I think you've seen, you know, we've seen a few successful ones over the past few years. When they live online, they get a lot of traction, yeah. a lot of engagement. You can open conferences with them. CEOs love them. They're interesting things. They work inside business and, out, and outside the business as media too. So that's, that's a key point, I think. So there's a significant gravitational pull for these things when they're done correctly. If they're done well, yeah. And they can also, <coughs> if, they, if they seize on a, one of the social qualities they can seize on to help spread them around is that sense of currency. Mm. So, um, you know, the many things make a video sociable, including, you know, being stupid or facile or sort of naked people or something sure. like that. But the, um, you can also, though, if something is current, that makes it kind of 
makes it. And there's, a, there's a good one done recently about the credit crisis. You know, that, that came out just at the right time. It obviously took some, had some work in it, um, but it was um, very much at the right time. So the work we did, you know, when we try and do them, we try and either internally we peg it to large annual initiatives, you know, like press releases or something companies have to do, or work we've done recently with the BBC, we timed this video about astronomy to come out with um, a, a large program, stargazing. They had this sort of mm -hmm. seasonal program they had on because anything, any, anything, any wins that can kind of below those sales of publicity is good. Right. You know? So, last question for you. Do you feel that visualizations are evolving from just representations of data to full-fledged interfaces, ways to access a, a, a deeper experience? Yes. Um, yes, I do, totally. Um, the video work is interesting because that's often just the thing by itself, maybe existing to publicize a single idea and, and get a lot of traction with that. Um, the other sort of work I'm doing is not just the single visualization, you know, the single PDF or the single um, piece of software panel, a single sort of view on data. It's very much, it's as much about, you know, you need to be able to discover something with a piece of software interface um, as much as you do probably publish it. So we're doing kind of a bit of work in around um, sports statistics. So, you know, can fans or journalists using those sports statistics actually pub take that data and publish it elsewhere, obviously in their social networks or in their, their journalists in the rest of their editorial platforms and stuff like that. So the, it's all about context, I think. And it's not just the visualization by itself is interesting, but it's just, it's just a part of the design, like figuring out typography in an in a editorial website 10 years mm -hmm. ago. You know, it's, it's part of your overall purpose to communicate, and it will need the rest of user experience as a discipline around it, I think. Right. So, Interesting. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate yeah, it. Great. Thanks for having us. Yeah.